23 uh, Senior Awards Program. A special thanks to our uh, Interim Superintendent, Allison Couch, our, our Board of Education for all their support. I want to thank all of our parents. You, you've been amazing support for your children all the way through uh, school and uh, real special thanks to you for all you've done to, to raise such wonderful uh, children and students. Uh, I want to be, give a big thank you also to all of our teachers. Um, a lot of these awards, uh, a lot of the accomplishments that our students have uh, achieved are, are really in big part due to uh, having the wonderful teachers we have here in the district. I want to give a special thank you to our counselors, uh, Kelly Owens, Adam Wessner, Paige Lumpkins, uh, and our SEL team, uh, Bridget Fiore and uh, Amy Samoski. I want to thank uh, Lori Peters for all her work. She's my administrative assistant, and she absolutely puts all this together. So thank you, Lori. I want to thank the foundation and all the uh, scholarship donors that uh, uh, will uh, make all these uh, scholarships you're going to hear about in a little bit possible. So thank you for all you do to support our schools and our children. And um, it's just really nice to be uh, presenting this uh, live from the William Cook studio here at the high school. It's a beautiful day outside, as you can see. Um, and uh, we're just really glad to be able to have this wonderful place uh, provided to, to our students to use for video production. And Kelsey Jackson does a great job with that. So uh, with that, uh, the uh, first award uh, we're going to give out today is the Principal's Leadership Award. Uh, it's my honor to recognize uh, some really two students this year. Uh, sometimes I have more than one and for their outstanding leadership skills, their dedicated participation to service organizations, clubs, academic record. Um, and uh, they really, uh, you know, stepped up and are always willing to do extra things. So this this year's award uh, goes to uh, Austin Choi. So congratulations, Austin Choi and the Second one uh, equally goes to Ella Plyman. So both of these students will get a, a really pretty award. It looks just like this. It's got a lumberjack on it. It says Principal Leadership Award of Distinction, Class of 2023. And then it'll say Austin Choi or it'll say Ella Plyman. So you'll get these when you have your senior breakfast. Uh, so congratulations, uh, both of you. Uh, you uh, are very well deserved. Uh, next uh, up, we are going to recognize our students that have uh, honors diploma, and uh, that is a, a great achievement to be able to have your uh, honors diploma. Um, the diploma with honors, uh, 95 students in the class of 2023 met the qualification for receiving diploma with honors. Uh, those are listed in the program of study, but it involves taking multiple world languages, uh, high-level science courses, uh, and uh, really stretching yourself, pushing yourself. ACT scores are factored in, GPA is factored in. So um, we had 95 uh, students of the class of 2023 meet those qualifications, and they will wear their gold cords at baccalaureate and uh, if they choose to go and at graduation. So uh, congratulations to all those students for their hard work and uh, we'll uh, scroll the, their names at this time.
recognition for their individual academic achievements through the instituted Latin honor system. Students will qualify for varying levels of honor depending upon their cumulative weighted grade point average or GPA. Summa cum laude is 4.0 cumulative GPA and above. Magna cum laude is 3.75 to 3.99 cumulative GPA. And cum laude is 3.51 to 3.74 cumulative GPA. So you'll see the students that uh, meet these qualifications want to recognize them for their high uh, academic achievement. Uh, and they'll be scrolling on the next screen. At this time, it's my pleasure to recognize our students that are honored by receiving uh, either a National Merit Finalist or commended uh, recognition through the National Merit Scholarship Program. About 1.5 million students take the PSAT their junior year, and of those 1.5 million, 50,000 are designated as higher scores, and of those 50,000, 15,000 make it to the finalist level. So uh, it's very prestigious 
And we have several finalists that we're going to recognize here tonight. We have Grace Bauer, Isabella Butler, Kathleen Butler, Austin Choi, Camden Greer, Maxwell McCloskey, Lillian Ohlers, Michael Richel, Jude Schauer, and Alex Zhang. Congratulations, students. The next group is our commended. So of the 50,000 high scores, about 34,000 students are designated commended scholars. These students are Alana Horn, William Howard, Charlotte Kulka, Nathan Pennington, Catherine Pika, Sebastian Roderer, Matthew Rohan, Elena Ware, and Jet Williams. Congratulations, students. As a board of trustee for the Dayton Montgomery County Scholarship Program, I'd like to recognize this year's recipients for the class of 2023. Our program was funded in 1981 to serve the needs of achieving students who request financial assistance in order to attend a college of their choice. Our scholarship supports 23 participating school districts throughout Montgomery County in at least 30 different high schools. Since our inception, we have awarded over $23.9 million to 21,500 students. Our scholarship is awarded two different ways. The first way is for those students who wish to go to a two-year college, we award $500, 250 the first year and 250 the second year. If the student wishes, to go to a four-year university or college, we will honor and award $5,000 to that student. That is $1,000 freshman and sophomore year and $1,500 junior and senior year. So I congratulate you as the recipient for this year's award. They are Rachel Bowman, Alicia Nelson Mays, Ethan Stone, and finally, Gratian White. Congratulations again. Hello, I'm Mr. Hart. On behalf of Mr. Rainsberger and myself, I'm happy to present the Outstanding Engineering Student Award to two very deserving seniors, Jude Shower and Ruby Lake. Both of these students have taken various STEM and engineering courses at Oakwood High School and then continued their engineering education by pursuing independent studies, internships, and other engineering-focused activities. Jude parlayed his interest in aeronautics into a personal pursuit of scratch-built remote control airplanes, which you may have seen flying around the Oakwood High School baseball field. In addition to taking multiple OHS engineering courses, Jude further pursued a two-year-long engineering assistantship to build on building, to focus on building and flying a cyclorotor aerial vehicle and other engineering projects. This past summer, Jude was part of the Wright Scholars Program, spending eight weeks as an intern at the Air Force Research Lab at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. This summer, Jude is doing another engineering internship with UDRI, the University of Dayton Research Institute. And this fall, Jude is heading to Mississippi State to study mechanical engineering. Meanwhile, Ruby Lake has maxed out her high school engineering education by taking the full gamut of engineering courses offered at Fairmont CTC, culminating in a manufacturing internship at a local engineering firm during her senior year. And this is her second internship. She, like Jude, spent eight weeks last summer as an engineering intern at the Air Force Research Lab at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Ruby is headed to the engineering program at Purdue University. She's undecided on which specific program to pursue, but she's leaning towards mechanical engineering or biomedical engineering. 
It has been a pleasure to work with each of these students over the past several years, and we're excited to see where they will go from here. Congratulations to each of them. Traits of a good scientist. If you were to do a quick Google search on traits of good science, some of the, those characteristics that pop up are curious. Scientists are curious about their world. Patient. They're patient as they repeat experiment after experiment multiple times to make sure that they're verifying the results. They're courageous. They're detail-oriented. They're creative, persistent. They're communicative, and they're open-minded and free of bias. This year's Outstanding Senior Science students exhibit all of these traits. We would like to congratulate Austin Choi, who will be attending Columbia University this fall, entering into environmental sciences and policy, as well as Katie Butler, who will be attending the University of Alabama with a dual major in chemistry and physics. Both Austin and Katie have exhibited these characteristics through their rigorous coursework here at Oakwood High School and are well prepared for their next journey. Walt Disney once said, around here, however, we don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Austin and Katie, it is now your turn to open new doors. Go out with your knowledge, your patience, and your curiosity and change our world. Congratulations to Austin Choi and Katie Butler, this year's Outstanding Science Award winners. Bonjour, my name is Madame Jurgens, and I will be presenting the Outstander Outstanding French Senior Award. This year's recipient was chosen based on grades, participation in class, and just general enthusiasm for the language. Felicitations to Grace Bauer, this year's Outstanding French Senior Award. I'm so proud of you. It is my privilege to select the Outstanding Senior in Spanish. The recipient this year is an excellent student who constantly strives for self-improvement. This student speaks eloquently in Spanish and participates frequently in class. She's a member of the Spanish Honor Society and helped to create the Spanish Conversation Club this year. She plans to continue studying Spanish at The Ohio State University. I'm so proud of this student and all of her effort. The outstanding senior Spanish student for this year is Genevieve Yeoman. Felicitaciones. I'm happy to be here tonight to award this year's OTA scholarship winners. The Oakwood Teachers Association consists of teachers and counselors from Smith, Harmon, Lang, and the junior and senior high schools. The scholarships we present tonight are made possible by contributions from our members. We are pleased to present four $750 scholarships to Molly Connor, Liam Mackey, Ella Plyman, and Ethan Stone. Congratulations. Howard and Bonnie Lowe established the Trevor Ryan Lowe Memorial Scholarship in memory of their only son, Trevor, a member of Oakwood's class of 2000. Trevor was lost in a tragic accident just a few months before graduation. His parents wanted to provide a sign of their appreciation for the experiences and relationships that encouraged Trevor here at Oakwood. Trevor was witty, energetic, and imaginative. He relished a good debate. He disdained what he considered to be mundane homework assignments. He was an out-of-the-box thinker and an artist and a poet who viewed the world a bit differently than many of us. He yearned to live each day his way. You'd not have to spend much time with Trevor before it became evident that his strong intellect and verbal acuity were unique, which provided to be both a gift and a challenge as he navigated through his formative years. Trevor enjoyed being with young children and taking on the big brother role. He especially looked forward to refereeing OCC sports. Trevor would be 41 years old now. Likely, he would be an alumnus of The Ohio State University, where he had been accepted back in 2000 to major in aeronautical engineering and pursue his passion for aviation. In keeping with the spirit of Trevor's memory, we are proud to award Nathan Pennington as this year's recipient Congratulations, Nathan. We're now going
going to recognize our students for their yearly honor roll accomplishments. Uh, students earning an honor roll status for their first three grading periods of the school year, regular or high, qualify for yearly honor roll. The following seniors earned yearly honor roll status their senior year, and uh, they will receive either a first year letter, a bar pin for two years being on the yearly honor roll, or a lamp of knowledge pin for three years of being on the yearly honor roll. We want to congratulate these students, and at this time you'll see their names scroll across the screen. Uh, the next group of students you'll see scrolling across your screen, we're very proud of. These students have been on the yearly honor roll every year uh, of their high school career, so four years. These students will receive an acrylic award. Uh, we just are so proud of these students. Congratulations. <music> Zimmerman, the Donor Services Coordinator for the Oakwood Schools Foundation. The Oakwood Schools Foundation supports and enhances the education of Oakwood students through seasonal grants for teachers, special programs, and capital enhancements like the Rick and Jane Schwartz Performing Arts Wing currently under construction. To that end, the Oakwood Schools Foundation oversees over 20 scholarships that support Oakwood seniors in the pursuit of their dreams at college and beyond. Tonight, we're delighted to be here to announce the recipients of this year's scholarships and to celebrate their achievements in the community and successes in athletics and academics. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. In 2008, in recognition of the centennials of the City of Oakwood and the Oakwood City School District, the Oakwood Schools Foundation established the Oakwood Centennial Scholarship. This scholarship recognizes an OHS senior who has differentiated themselves in a meaningful way during their high school career and is recognized throughout the school and or community as having significant influence in the lives of others. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Emery Gowdy and Ian Gano. Hello, I'm Dan Christie, and I am a former University of Dayton basketball player from 1983 to 1987, and uh, a local uh, Miamisburg person. I am not uh, from Oakwood, but uh, Jeff Hartley and uh, Bruce Harlemert uh, talked me into being on the committee for the Howard the Hat Sales uh, Scholarship uh, Committee, and uh, I'm very proud to be uh, on that uh, committee. My father was a former high school basketball coach for 30 years. He actually coached my younger brother and I uh, up in Northwest Ohio, a little town called Oak Harbor. So I am familiar with uh, small communities, which I believe Oakwood is a little bit of a small community inside of a large community. But uh, it, it was fantastic to be on the committee. The quality of the student athletes that applied for the scholarship were fantastic. And I, I think what hit me the most about the candidates for this scholarship were their extracurricular activities. Not necessarily their athletics, all good athletes, all great students. I couldn't dream of having a, a higher than a 4.0, but a lot of these students do. And, but it was the extracurricular activities these kids get involved with through their time at Oakwood High School that just blew me away. And uh, we had many great candidates for this scholarship, 
It was very difficult to whittle it down, but we successfully whittled it down to two very deserving candidates in my eyes. So congratulations, um, and don't ever forget about Howard the Hat Sales and his impact on Oakwood Athletics. I did not know him, but I've read the books, and what a quality human being Howard the Hat Sales truly was. presenting the Comeback Award. This award is a special honor started by Debbie Bird Williams and her family in 1998 when Matt Bird, her oldest son, graduated from Oakwood. It was a way to pay forward and give back to the school and the Oakwood community and to also show their appreciation for the school's positive impact on Matt and both his younger brothers, Brent and Nathan. The Comeback Award honors a student overcoming a major life challenge. Debbie regretfully passed away earlier this month but was always a great supporter of Oakwood Schools and its students. Even with her youngest graduating in 2002, Debbie continued to support the schools with her generosity. I had the great privilege to know Debbie personally and consider it my honor to present this award on behalf of her family. The following are Debbie's own words she shared with me in 2020 when I presented the Comeback Award on her behalf due to a trip out of the country. I hope she doesn't mind me using her words as I present the Comeback Award this year. Congratulations, graduates, family, and friends. This is a very special time for all. Graduates, you are to be commended for your hard work thus far, but it truly takes a village to raise a child. So in the course of your celebrations, be sure to thank your parents, family, friends, teachers, and school personnel who helped you along the way. It is never easy to select a sole recipient. You are all heroes for putting yourself out there by applying for this award. It is difficult to relive the challenges from where you have made your dramatic comeback, and you are to be commended for doing just that. Thank you, Debbie. This year's Comeback Award recipient wrote about the emotional roller coaster of experiencing many acts of racism and suffering the unbearable loss of her father. But it has also made her become a stronger person. She stands up for her beliefs and will continue to grow in the face of adversity. This young woman epitomizes what the Comeback Award represents. It is a privilege to present the 2023 Comeback Award to Alyssa Nelson Mays. Congratulations, Alyssa, and best of luck. This scholarship was established in 2017 to celebrate the Honorable Elizabeth Sims Gutman's 30-year career of public service. She served as the Miami County Municipal Judge for 18 years, preceded by 12 years as both a public defender in Shelby County and later as a prosecutor for the city of Piqua. Judge Gutman graduated from Oakwood High School in 1975. The scholarship is for a senior who is planning to major in a public service related field such as law, law enforcement, social work, or education. Congratulations to Josh Rosenberg for being selected as this year's recipient. Susan Herman created the GLOW GLOW Scholarship years ago to honor a female graduating student who maintains good grades, exhibits leadership skills, possesses outstanding character, has part-time work experience, and plans to pursue a college major in a STEM-related field, GLOW. Susan was a dedicated educator of 40 years who continued to serve students by helping them prepare for the SATs and ACTs as a tutor. Her desire was to help students achieve their academic dreams. Susan passed away last fall, and I want to take a moment to thank her, 
her husband, and the rest of her family for their dedication and generosity throughout the years. Dr. Ann Carbonell and Bob Gaeta, sponsors of this scholarship and Susan's daughter and son-in-law, congratulate this year's scholarship recipient, Tabitha Kisker. Hello, my name is Jeannie Harmon, and I'm here to award the Scott Harmon Memorial Scholarship. We established this scholarship after Scotty died in 2012 of a heart condition. There were no symptoms, and as you can imagine, our family was shocked and saddened when he died. Scott loved life, and it showed. The purpose of this scholarship is to award someone who lives life with passion and makes a difference in others' lives. From references and essays, and there were many because we had 19 applicants, our nine person selection committee arrived at a winner for this year. This person has drive and passion, even in times of unsettling emotions. Areas of importance are family, being a team player, and being a person of integrity and character. This person empowers group members, teammates, and makes everyone heard and valued. It is my great pleasure to award this year's Scott Harmon Memorial Scholarship to Riley Cahill. Congratulations, Riley. Good evening, my name is Kelly Neff and I will be presenting two awards this evening, the Randy Neff Memorial Scholarship and the Thomas Neff Memorial Scholarship. I'll start with the Randy Neff Memorial Scholarship. I know many of you knew my husband Randy. He taught math in room 301 for many years and he was an extremely gifted educator. Although he would on occasion show up to school with his shirt on inside out or he'd be wearing one brown loafer and one black loafer because he'd gotten dressed in the dark that morning. Randy had a loud, booming voice, and let's be real, he wasn't afraid to share his opinion. He was always looking to make you laugh, and he had an endless supply of corny jokes and mischievous pranks. Randy truly had a gift for teaching. He not only taught math concepts, but he also taught life skills such as honor, respect, trust, conviction, and love, with lots of humor sprinkled in. He was exceptional at inspiring others. To honor him, we established the Randy Neff Memorial Scholarship Fund, which I am thrilled to say is now endowed because of the many generous donations of family, friends, students, and community members. I want to take just a moment to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you who has supported us in this project. This scholarship is a $1,000 award, which recognizes a graduating senior from Oakwood High School who is planning to major in education or a math-related field of study. This year's recipient was a four-year member of the Oakwood High School baseball team, a National Honor Society member, and a French National Honor Society member during his high school career. He says that he hopes to become an English teacher who engages his students to grow through literature and storytelling. He will be attending Knox College next fall and will be pursuing a degree in secondary education and English. Please join me in congratulating this year's winner, Josh Rosenberg. Congratulations, Josh. Now I will be presenting the Thomas Neff Memorial Scholarship. On September 7th, 2011, I tragically lost my oldest son, Thomas. In a moment of desperation, my son acted on impulse and made a reckless decision. He took his own life. His actions that night affect my family every single day and will continue to for the rest of our lives. Without our faith and the support of family, friends, and an amazing community, we would not be where we are today. You know, there are many things that I'm still learning as I continue to try and understand why a young man who had so much potential, so much to live for, and who was loved so very much would do what he did. 
The truth is our thoughts are powerful. They have the power to move the mountains that stand before us, but they also have the power to cut us off from the purpose for which we were created. That's why what we choose to focus on is so important. You see, where you focus is where you go. I once heard Tony Robbins make a fantastic analogy about the power of focus and racing cars. He said that when your car begins to skid, the natural reflex is to look at the wall in an attempt to avoid it. But if you keep focusing on the wall, if you keep focusing on what you fear, that's exactly where you're going to end up. And you see, professional race car drivers know that we unconsciously steer in the direction of our focus. So when they have their lives on the line, they have to intentionally turn their focus away from the wall and towards the open track. And here's why I'm telling you this. You're going to face difficult situations in life, and it can feel completely overwhelming, like you're on a racetrack about to crash into a wall. And so when that happens, I want you to remember, remember this. Where you focus is where you go. So when you feel like you're about to crash, you can't focus on that wall. You've got to intentionally turn your focus on where you do want to go. So when you find yourself in a difficult situation and you feel overwhelmed, isolated, and alone, I want you to remember my son's name, Tom, T-O-M, that together we can overcome mountains. So when you're in that dark place, remember that together we can overcome even the most daunting mountains. So if you're sitting here tonight listening to this and you're struggling and you need to understand and know that there are people who love you and want to help you. So please talk to someone and let them know that you are struggling. Tonight, we're giving out our 12th award. And with the help and generosity of so many people in this community, we were able to raise enough funds to establish the Thomas Neff Memorial Scholarship and give out our first award back in 2012, only a few short months after losing Tommy. This scholarship is a $1,000 award which recognizes a graduating senior from Oakwood High School who exemplifies the character, values, strong work ethic, and dedication that made Tommy who he was. This year's recipient has been a member of the football and track and field teams, as well as student council during his high school career. He shared in his application that working at a retirement home has helped him focus on his future by making him aware of qualities such as caring for others, relationship building, and the ability to stay calm in stressful situations. This year's recipient will be attending Miami University in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Charlie Armitage. Congratulations, Charlie. Hello uh, to everybody out there. I'm Barbara Nichols O'Hara, and I'm here representing the um, Barbara Nichols O'Hara Scholarship for the Outstanding Female Athlete. Uh, what I'm going to say right now, please understand I'm being very facetious, but this spring, I was driving south on I-75, and I saw this young lady running at a great clip down the berm of I-75, and I thought, who is that? What is she doing? Is she training for something? Then I found out later that that lady is the recipient of my scholarship, Bella Butler. So I am very proud to give you a background on Bella. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating female athlete who not only excels in the classroom by carrying a, she carries a 4.0 grade, studied AP calculus, AP chemistry, AP French, AP psychology. She exudes an outstanding leadership quality as well as community volunteer and a second grade tutor. And to top it off, she scored 1560 out of 1600 on an SAT. Bella's primary sport is cross country. That's why she was on the highway. She placed first in the state in 2022, second in the state in 21, and fifth in the state in 19 and 20. Bella earned four varsity letters and was a team captain. Now I'll highlight her track and field prowess. Bella was a member of the 4x800 team, which broke the Division II state record. At the 2022 state track meet, her team came in fourth in the 1600 meter, 
first in the four by 800 meter, second in the 3200 meter, and third in four by 400 meter. Are you all exhausted by now? I am. Team captain she was in 2023 and she received three varsity letters. That's not all. Bella played four years on the field hockey team and was on the team that placed second over in, in uh, all Ohio in 2022 and first team all conference in 21 and 22. She scored four varsity letters. With the goal of becoming a plastic surgeon, I heartily congratulate Bella Butler on all her accomplishments, all she has accomplished, and I wish her the very best. Congratulations, Bella, and boy, watch out, University of Alabama. to present the Coach Seidel Wrestling Award. This award annually recognizes a senior wrestler who, like Chip, exemplifies a commitment to excellence, desire, determination, dedication, unselfish sportsmanship, and a true love for the sport. These, this year we have two award winners for this, this award. Aaron Cunningham, who won this award in 2022, and senior fellow senior Carson Baumgartner for the class of 2023. Congratulations to Carson and Aaron. Jonathan Liston, Class of 2007. Congratulations, Class of 2023, for your high achievement of reaching the first rung of your lifelong continuing education. In 1974, while my father was in high school, Xenia was struck by a devastating tornado. My father was there with Box 21, an experience that would set his lifelong professional career. After graduating from Oakwood, my father attended Wright State University and graduated from the University of Dayton. He joined the Oakwood Safety Department as a police officer, firefighter, and paramedic. He was also a volunteer firefighter for the city of Kettering for 18 years. In his career, he was known for his community service. At Christ Church, he worked with the youth and volunteered with many church activities. Today, we award the John Liston Memorial Scholarship to two students that have done both community and volunteer service. Congratulations, Mary Connor, and Peyton Deutsch. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kelly Maxton, and I'm here to present the Resilient Scholarship. The scholarship started as a DWAC scholarship, and it was funded by the staff and students of the Oakwood Junior High School as a way to honor their former principal uh, at, for his resilience that he showed during his fight with cancer. Since 2018, it has expanded to five different school districts in the area and has awarded 53 different students with scholarships. This year's scholarship recipient was selected from uh, volunteers from the Cleveland Public School District and the Milford School District down in Cincinnati. We'd like to congratulate Anna Ava with a thousand dollar scholarship in this award. Thanks Anna and congratulations. Hi, my name is Steve Stanley. I'm the debate coach at Oakwood High School. And I'm uh, very pleased today to be able to announce the winner of the John M. Martin Forensic Scholarship Award. The winner is Sebastian Roderer. Sebastian is a graduating senior here at Oakwood High School who has been a public forum debater uh, for four full years in the program. He's had an awful lot of success, uh, worked through multiple partners, and in particular this year, his senior year, uh, was highly successful with his partner, Nate Pennington. They won 82% of the ballots that were cast in rounds that they competed in this year, and uh, they won four tournaments. So Sebastian's had an exceptionally uh, successful career. And I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't note what a great job of providing leadership he did along with other seniors on the team. Uh, they really made a difference and made everyone on the team's success equal to their own. So Sebastian, congratulations. We're very happy for you and good luck in the future. 
The John W. Berry Senior Memorial Scholarship was established in March of 2001 to honor his memory and his leadership within the Dayton community. Its purpose is to recognize and to help support a graduating senior of Oakwood High School who has exhibited leadership skills, community involvement, and demonstrated need. It is with sincere pleasure that I congratulate Austin Choi, Charlie Kolka, and Alex Jong, the 2023 recipients of the John W. Berry Senior Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Scott Jacobs and I'm the girls varsity golf coach at Oakwood High School. I want to take this time to congratulate senior golfer Kara Hamblin for earning this year's Marjorie Smith Scholarship. She is a very deserving recipient and a great student athlete. She improved on the course, provided our team with leadership, and was always willing to help grow the girls golf at Oakwood. She has a lighthearted, infectious personality that makes the game fun for all. Congratulations to Kara Hamblin for being selected as this year's recipient of the Marjorie Smith Scholarship. Thank you. The Lieutenant John C. White III Scholarship was established by the Oakwood class of 1962 in memory of their classmate, John White. In his senior year at Oakwood, John was president of our city O, president of the National Honor Society, president of the Dayton Area Youth Council, and the recipient of the Harry E. Talbot Award. John was also a tremendous athlete, lettering in football, basketball, and track. John White graduated from Yale University in 1966, where he was a member of both the debate and track teams. Later that year, he received his commission in the United States Marine Corps. In November of 1968, Lieutenant White gave his life in Vietnam while attempting to save the lives of three of his fellow U.S. Marines. In May of 1969, President Nixon posthumously awarded the Silver Star to Lieutenant White for his bold and heroic action. Family, friends, and classmates established the John C. White Scholarship in 1969 in order to honor him and to recognize an outstanding member of Oakwood's graduating class. There is no application for this award. A scholarship committee composed of students, teachers, and administrators annually selects the recipient. The $7,000 award recognizes the Oakwood senior who through dedication reaches the highest ideals of scholarship, athletics, and citizenship, just as John did 61 years ago. It is my honor to congratulate Ethan Stone, the 2023 recipient of the Lieutenant John C. White Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Ethan. Hi, my name is Bill LaBeouf, and I am a director for the Western Golf Association Evans Scholarship Foundation. Uh, the Scholarship Foundation is one that provides caddy scholarships to worthy caddies uh, who caddy a Moraine Country Club and uh, meet all of the requirements. And I'm here today to announce that Rachel Bowman has received the Evans Scholarship Award. Uh, we're so delighted to be able to provide this to her. She joins her brother, Nick, and will attend Miami University in the fall. Rachel, great job on all the hard work you've done and we wish you well. Congratulations. And the Western Golf Association and the Evans Scholars Foundation is proud to announce that Liam McCarty has won the Evans Scholarship uh, from Moraine Country Club to attend either Ohio State or Miami University four years, tuition free with housing. Uh, we're very excited for Liam. It's a great opportunity and a great reward for a lot of hard work. And the scholarship was started by that guy right there, Chick Evans, who won the 1919 US Open and formed the scholarship in 1931 in the Chicago area. We are so happy that Liam has won this scholarship and congratulations. The POE Sisterhood is one of the largest community-based women's organizations in North America with almost 250,000 initiated members. The organization provides loans, grants, and scholarships for women through six philanthropies. The PEO Sisterhood is committed to helping women achieve their educational goals. The PEO Star Scholarship recognizes the accomplishments of graduating high school young women planning to pursue post-secondary education. In presenting this $2,500 scholarship, the members of Chapter CI in Dayton are pleased to recognize the honorees who demonstrates excellence in leadership, extracurricular activities, community service, academics, and potential for success. The POE Star Scholarship is presented to Katie Pika. 
congratulations, Katie. Hello, we are John and Susie Crush and are the founders of the Mark Andrew Crush Memorial Fund. We started an ambassador program to provide high school students an opportunity to support our community while learning the value of giving back. Our mission is to enrich the lives of children through various projects and scholarships like this. The fund will leave a mark on a child's life. We are pleased to award the Mark Crush Memorial Fund Community Service Scholarship to a very deserving Oakwood student. The selection criteria for this scholarship is based upon the impact that the applicant has made in their community, as well as the realization of how community service impacted their own life. I am pleased to announce that Nathan Pennington is this year's recipient. Nathan has volunteered many hours in the Scout program, even earning his Eagle Scout. He also participated in Scouting for Food, Sun Watch Indian Village, and Dayton Children's Hospital, among other things. Service has provided Nathan with a way to give back and to help bring about change for the betterment of his community and the many people facing issues in his community. Congratulations, Congratulations Nathan. Nathan. I'm Heidi Edwards, and it is a great honor to be able to present the McGill Family Scholarship in memory of Melissa McGill Church. Melissa was a member of the class of 2007. During her time at OHS, she left her mark here as a hardworking student, compassionate leader, and dependable friend. Her teachers remember seeing her in the hallways, laughing with friends, helping her peers, always including others, with her cheerful, caring nature that radiated in everything she did. She was loved by all, and we will never forget her unshakable positive attitude, her regardless of whatever challenge was in front of her. After Mel's passing in 2020, the McGill family began a GoFundMe campaign to, dedicated to raise awareness and financial support for organizations who drive policy change regarding maternal mental health. Melissa's twin sister, Suzanne, wrote on the page about her sister. As an occupational therapist for the Brownsburg Community Schools, Melissa devoted her life to helping her special needs students every day and all those she worked with. She was everyone's best friend, the most welcoming neighbor, an award-winning twin sister, a dedicated dog mom, a loving wife, a proud daughter, the most beautiful singer, and so much more. We want nothing more than to honor the full and gracious life she lived by helping others because that's what she would be doing today. McGill family, the staff of OHS is touched that you have chosen to help celebrate Melissa's life and legacy through the gifting of this $1,000 scholarship awarded to a graduating senior pursuing a career in the medical field. In addition to majoring in nursing, this year's recipient was selected because they embody so many of the traits that we saw in Melissa. We would like to congratulate Peyton Deutsch as this year's recipient. Peyton's teachers describe her as a hardworking student who loves to encourage and cheer on her friends and someone who generally cares about and is helpful to others. Peyton is friends with everyone and walks around the halls of OHS with kindness and respect. Peyton has chosen to pursue a career in nursing and has been admitted to Marquette University to study nursing this fall. In her scholarship application, Peyton has already jumped into this career field by participating in the Allied Health Career Tech Program at Fairmont, competing at regional and state healthcare competitions. She has immersed herself in the medical field, working in the Kettering Health Network, and also serving as a volunteer at Dayton Children's Hospital. Empathy and the desire to help have been constants in Peyton's life from a young age. Peyton, we are proud to award you this scholarship on behalf of the McGill family and congratulate you on a job well done. We know you have a bright future ahead of you and wish you the best in pursuit of these goals. Congratulations, Peyton. My name is Max Heinz and on behalf of the Oakwood Rotary, it's my pleasure to announce this year's winner of the Oakwood Rotary Scholarship, Joshua Rosenberg. 
This is a four-year, $1,500 scholarship. Joshua had a fine academic career at Oakwood High School, but most importantly for our organization, he had an outstanding record of community service. So congratulations, Joshua, and we wish you every success in your college career. Again, I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, it's been so many amazing awards. And uh, so before we move on to the second half of our program, I thought we'd have a, uh, a short intermission and then uh, allow you to go get something to eat or take a little break. And then we'll be back uh, in about 10 minutes. Just kidding. I do that every year. So, you know can't break tradition. So come on back. All right. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, this is the uh, time when we uh, announce our outstanding senior female and male citizen awards. All high school faculty members are given the opportunity to nominate and vote for those students they consider outstanding in service, citizenship, and scholarship. Recipients of these awards are the students receiving the highest number of faculty votes. The outstanding senior female citizen is Charlie Colcom. Congratulations, Charlie. And our outstanding senior male citizen is Maxwell McCloskey. Congratulations, Maxwell. Both these students will receive a plaque like this. So Charlie Kolka and Maxwell McCluskey, you guys will have these awards. And by the way, you'll get all these awards um, during the senior uh, breakfast. We'll make sure you guys get all those uh, so that you can take those home with you. Uh, the next uh, awards are the Daisy Talbot Green Award and Harry E. Talbot Award, Best All-Around Senior Female, in male awards. Uh, these students will receive uh, a, a sort of a trophy and then also their names are put on a, a plaque in the senior hall. All high school faculty are given the opportunity to nominate and vote for a senior girl boy, and boy they consider to be outstanding in school involvement as demonstrated by activities, academics, service to school and community and character. The recipients of these awards are the students receiving the highest number of faculty votes. The winner of the Daisy Talbot Green Award is Camden Greer. So Camden uh, will get an award like this uh, with her name on it. It says Best All-Around Senior Female. And our award for, or the winner of the Harry E. Talbot Award is Ethan Stone. So congratulations, Ethan. And again, Ethan will get a, an award like this with his name on there. Their names will be on a, on a plaque that's in the senior hall. So I want to congratulate all of our award winners this evening. Again, thanks for all of you. And now I'm going to turn it over to our interim uh, superintendent, Mrs. Allison Couch. Congratulations, class of 2023. As your interim superintendent, congratulations on your outstanding achievements and awards. Your dedication and hard work have paid off and we are so proud of you. Best wishes as you start this next chapter. Keep working hard and continue to make a positive impact in the world. Again, congratulations on all your accomplishments. Thank you.